conference to promote Kung Fu tourism in the east central Chinese city of Zhengzhou was held on September 14th at the Radisson Blue Royal Hotel in Helsinki, Finland. One of the key speakers was Timo Kiviaho, vice president of the Finland China Development and Exchange Center. He spoke to GB Times about the importance of developing tourism cooperation, as well as a celebration of 65 years of diplomatic relations between the two countries. The reason for this uh, tourism promotion is to commemorate uh, this year we're going to have a 65th year of uh, good uh, diplomatic relation between China and Finland. And of course boost and, and foster the tourism between these two countries. How important is this to uh, the Finnish culture or to uh, reinforce these ties between China and Finland? Uh, this is extremely important because uh, as you may well know that we have the shortest route uh, by plane to, 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 to China via Finland. So by our national air carrier Finnair, uh, we have uh, very good uh, networks uh, kind of uh, reaching all the Chinese main towns by air. And uh, of course for business, for tourism, this is very important. This conference is focusing just on Jingzhou, yes. correct? Yeah. Yes. Uh, could you talk a little bit about, is there a specific relationship between Jingzhou? Why Jingzhou in particular? Why? It's because I think it's the culture. And we have uh, very much of this Asian culture studies in uh, Helsinki University. And uh, uh, to our understanding, it's a very well-known uh, kind of uh, connection or route or ancient of the Silk Route. So this is the part of the, the ancient uh, Silk Route to Finland. Among the attendees were a number of Chinese living in Finland, and they told us about the necessity of maintaining a close relationship with China and the part Kung Fu plays in that. A lot of foreign people, they are more and more familiar and more interested in Kung Fu because of the wider expression of the Kung Fu idea from like China. And this time the conference, I mean the promotion conference is really, really important also for us and for for, for Chinese people to know more about, I mean, for the foreign people to know, know about the Kung Fu idea and to give them the more opportunity to go there, to experience the real Kung Fu there in Zhengzhou. Uh, I think Kung Fu is, uh, there be many kind of good things for everybody, so such as to build a healthy body, so the second is Kung Fu is keep your mentality, to keep up and not give up. So I think there's many ways to learn the Kung Fu also, to bring this concept to the young kids, let them practice, because there's lots of benefits coming up. Okay, and how about you? What does Kung Fu mean to you? Yes, it's very important for me, because as an artist, I like dancing and also I like Kung Fu because in my university, for example, we have this Kung Fu Tai Chi course and I loved it. And also as an artist, I'm interested in how to input Kung Fu into dancing in the future because as, I, as we see just now in the conference, they uh, introduced the performance by the uh, great Chinese musician Tan Dun. I think it's a very great idea because uh, uh, with this way people can experience uh, Kung Fu from the different point of view and also for myself uh, I think that Kung Fu is a very great way to experience the Chinese culture and also a very great way to keep yourself healthy and keep a very good mind state as a Zen, as a great leader of the apple and uh, you, you see the position. The more important thing is that the mind state, you will get it from practicing Kung Fu. It's hard work but it's uh, worth it. And also uh, after I see this conference I plan to go to Zhengzhou uh, because of Kung Fu. Uh, I need to experience that uh, the origin of the Kung Fu and the great, yeah.